This is a picture of a mockup that I just created using this tool called Recrab.ai. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a high quality and realistic mockup using Recrab.ai. Now, there are actually a lot of tools, a lot of websites that allows you to generate mockup using AI. But in my opinion, Recrab.ai is the best choice for this particular use case for two reasons. First, it is completely free. You can get, you can generate multiple AI images. You can combine them together. And also, you can still download this image. You can export the image as PNG or JPEG, and there won't be any watermark. And you don't have to pay to get this picture. Unlike most websites that allows you to create, but when it comes to downloading the picture, you have to pay for it. And secondly, it is quite generous. You are going to get 23 credits every single day and uh, basically that means you can generate sorry not 23 i forgot about that you, you, you will get 50 credits every single day which means you can generate 50 ai images high quality images using this tool i have 23 left because i've been using some of them today for just testing this tool but i think that's a lot of credit to use for a single day now, if you want to create a high quality mockup like this, you can sign up to Recrab AI. I actually have the link in the video description, so you can give it a try. And if you sign up using the link, you will get extra 200 credits, which I think is a lot for just testing around and playing with some features in this website. Now, when you're done, after you sign into your account, you can click create new project. And uh, this time around, I'm going to create something that is a bit different. I have this picture of a copy mark. I also have created this Tumblr. And this time, I want to create a mockup for a t-shirt. Now, when you're uh, after opening a new project, you can click image. And basically, I'm going to create a picture of a woman wearing a white t-shirt. And then later, I'm going to put some sticker, some logo on top of the sticker by the way you can also upload your own image you can drag and drop your image into this canvas area but do keep in mind that you can only upload three images in a single day so if you have uploaded three images then you have to wait another 24 hours in order to, to be able to upload more images so that's one thing that you have to keep in mind if you're especially if you especially if you're using the free version of the platform now let's try prompting this tool so i'm going to use this prompt generate a picture of a young american woman standing in a park smiling wearing white sorry t-shirt so that's the prompt you can make it more detailed if you want and then here if you click on this button it will open the window that lets you select the styling there's a styling for photo realism there is a styling for illustration styling for factor etc honestly i don't want to uh, select any of them i just want to use the default setting but if you want to get a very specific styling on the output you can select one of these options but i'm going to stick with the recraft version 3 row i think that's still the best model from this platform and then here there is an option to avoid text in image if you don't want to if you don't want to see text on the image that was generated by ai you can enable this option and then here you can specify the color or the theme of the picture you can uh, manually add a color or you can also just click this button to randomize the color selection but honestly i'm going to be using just the default option and then here there is the option to select the resolution you can make it wide you can make it very tall I guess I'm going to be using 3 by 2 and if you're paying for the premium version you will be able to specify the artistic level the number of images that it produced for a single prompt and then you can set the creation to be private this is actually very important especially if you want to get uh, let's say you don't want people to see your picture or you don't want to basically if it's the content is sensitive then i guess it is worth it to pay for a premium in order to be able to get this feature to uh, set the project to private but if it's not serious then i guess setting it public is not a problem now 
when you're done with the prompting and all the settings you can click the recraft button to generate the picture usually it will take between 10 to 20 seconds to generate a picture using recraft.ai so basically two images for about 20 seconds or so by the way i just i just also worth mentioning that sometimes the generation can be very slow especially when there are a lot, a lot of people are using this platform at the same time so if it's very slow then you have to wait just a bit more and there you go that's the message uh that generation is slow due to heavy generation from a lot of people okay this is one picture honestly this is not a great picture i prefer this one because i he, the torso is here i want to put the logo the picture on the front of the t-shirt although it is also possible to put the picture right here but it's not going to be it's not going to look right basically now it, i'm going to generate some picture that i'm going to place on the torso so let's click on an empty area and then click image and this time around i'm going to use a simple prompt like a panda sticker and yeah that's basically it that's very very simple prompt and yeah i'm not going to change anything else just click recraft just wait until it generated the sticker or the picture again you can upload your own picture you can upload maybe your own logo or sticker that you have made yourself and then you can place it on this image i'm going to show you how you can uh, put the logo or put the content on the mock-up object on your project still generating there you go there is this message again this is actually not usually happen but i guess because i'm using this at the same time where a lot of people using recraft they are at the same time that's why i'm getting that message but most of the time i didn't see that okay there you go we got this picture there are two different styles there is this picture and then there is this picture honestly i prefer this one a lot more it's simpler and it's you know it looks cute i could put it on the tumblr on a t-shirt now uh what we need to do before we put this into this picture is that we have to remove the background there is this empty background that i think we need to get rid of now you can click on this picture and then click this remove background button just click on it and just wait until it finishes. okay there you go now before we put this sticker into the t-shirt let's click this picture first and then i'm going to turn this into a mock-up you can click this and then you can click this button that says convert to mock-up so basically it's not going to change anything on the image it's just going to let ai understand the image and it when it detects something like t-shirt or you know tumblr handy bay or something like that usually it's going to be to be labeled as the area where the user can place an image you can see that now the picture has been turned into mock-up again it still looks the same but the magic happens when you are moving a picture to this picture so let's let's just click this picture and then drag it on top of this picture you can see that there's something happening at doing something it's processing the image and just wait oh wow that's probably not the best looking yeah that's something that could happen but we want to put that we want to put the picture on on the woman on the on a t-shirt so we have to manually resize this make it smaller make it smaller make it very very small until it fits nicely on the on the t-shirt there you go so this is the final result i think it looks really good of course you can still play around with uh the the picture you can move it you can make it bigger or smaller depending on uh how much you need the picture but that's basically how you can put the picture into the t-shirt now when you're done you can right click on this image and then click export us or you can also just click on this button to click uh, to export the picture let's select png and i'm going to show you what it's going to look like again there will be no watermark when you're downloading the picture and there you go this is the picture there is no watermark at all 
and it is free it is easy to use and just a few minutes you can generate a high quality mockup picture using recrab.ai so that's basically it that's how you can use recrab.ai to generate high quality mockup picture if you find this video to be useful then please consider subscribing to this channel and i'll see you on the next video take care